Welcome everybody to Let's Play Okami HD episode 43. I'm your host, Oak Director Jester. When last we left off, we just learned our last power of the game, the lizard. We'll use that to freeze this flame spider here and make our way up. And we'll just keep things going. Something real quick here we should think about getting. See if we can't do our little trick we learned at the end of last episode here. And try and jump our way up there. A little tricky though. Wait till he wiggles a little bit. Jump up. And... That should be enough. Make sure you lock on to the blizzard part right there. The blizzard pool. Over the flame spider. The two jumps. You should be able to make it. Carefully don't get knocked over and you can get straight B99 just like that. Whew. That went pretty well, actually. What we've got now is... Well, we've got a cackle tower and there's a blizzard over there. Some ice over there. The vine. We got a cat call tower to make things a little better. Probably should have uh, done the cat call first. Oh well, though. This should be enough. And another flame spider, in case you don't know how those things work yet. Yep. Yep. So hit both. I did. I have to wait a little bit for that other one, though. Maybe doing both isn't a good idea. And oh, bollocks. Oh, that was close. So, yeah, one at a time's the way to go. Because they're set up in such a way that you can just climb like a ladder. Pretty easy. So, same thing with this one. Whoa. Careful with that depth perception, though. And we made it. All good down here. And now here's where things get a little bit difficult. They just keep ramping up the challenge. Well, how is this difficult? Just more Veil of Mist stuff. I need a couple of them to make it through. The time limit sneaks up on you though, so... Yeah, be careful. You melt the chest and you get the map! Oh, the map, wonderful. Not like we'll exactly need it too much. Let's make our way over here. And, well, there really is no way to bring that fire all the way over here. But like I said before, your new uh, solar flare has a pool of fire that you can use to your disposal. And that's how that works. This one is a combination of Veil of Mist and Blizzard. You can freeze it just right and make it away pretty easily. You avoid that guy, it doesn't really do anything. Nothing to do in here. So here is a more so here is another added feature of Blizzard. Across some twinkling snowflakes, you can be able to make yourself a little bridge that never seems to be complete for me. So alright though. Do it a couple of times, make sure you get the idea. I can do it again if I need to. Doesn't work as well though. Oh well. Ah! These asshole trees are in my way. Let's take that one out first before we get our clover. Ah, God! Ice. Jesus. 
And there we go. There's one more asshole tree up here. Two of them, actually. Keep your distance, and... Ah, I missed. Shit. Okay, there's four of them. Whatever, more praise for me, I guess. It does add up. Even now. Okay. Come on, throw it over here. Come on. And there you go. And boom. What the? Is that really what I wanted? No, there you go. I guess that's the problem with having 13 different powers. They tend to overwhelm one another. Here, this is easy. Gale Storm. Blow them out real quick. There's another cannon here. It's, uh, it's trying to make our life hell. Ah. It's pretty hell. Get that right back at him. I guess we for our motherfucking ink to go back. We can do Gale Storm again. Yeah, I guess an Infinity Stone could help, but... Okay, this one is a little bit nasty. Okay. Ah! You see why it's nasty? Alright. Let's get this right. One, and two. Make a run for it. Oh. Alright. Add another origin mirror. And melt these two treasure chests. First one here is an infinity stone. Lovely. Could use that earlier, but you don't have to if you don't need to. And a holy bone. It's pretty good to stock up on infinity stones right about now. And now. And what is he doing here? It's Shiranui! What do you know? So it means we're working together now? Well, yes, it does mean you're working together now. This is... Nechku! This is pretty much a primer for the final boss. Or the boss of this dungeon, I suppose. He's gonna throw different abilities at you, and you use your own abilities to throw them back. For example, with these, I guess you just wanna kinda... Slash them back? Nah. That does kinda work, I guess. When he gets knocked out, Shiranui will literally do all of the work for you, and then I guess you can come on it with your solar flare if you like. 
glaive works too. Whatever works you want. Really not that difficult, especially when you know exactly what to do. But it does this swooping move that, uh, if you dodge at the right time, you can be able to just get out of the way. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though, so it's not, like, fatal or anything. Whoa. Sometimes Shira knew he will throw in his own abilities to show off, like a piece of shit he is. Ah! I was too busy seething, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Shit. You know, you know, Shira knew you got most of this. I don't really need all this. Fancy, pants, brush technique. Come on, I'm using a PS3 controller. Not like I don't, not like I have a Wiimote or anything. I make things a whole lot easier. I, I, I could do as good when they already beat him. Well, that's great. Thanks, dude. That's so useless. And oh crap. Let's coup. And Oki doing his thing. As good as he can. Together, I guess they're more powerful. Is that how that works? I don't, I don't know. History, huh? much of a mind to begin with, especially when they can freeze time being time demons and all that. Oops! Oh, and I guess Oki and Shiro knew you're hurt. Man, how many times are you gonna die in a climactic battle? And yet Oki is forced to decide: glory or camaraderie. Of course he makes the right decision. Which means that this boss battle is gonna be in two parts. Yep. And now his sword is glowing silver! Kick ass! We really do have the master sword! Thank you. 
Finally got the resolve to be a real character now. He'll actually help us out pretty big in the next part of the game. So don't write him off just yet. But look at that! That's a free 68,000 yen. It's nothing to sneeze at, I'll tell you what. So now there's just one thing to grab. This thing that fell off of Nechku or Lechku, one of the two, in the cutscene. Let's grab that talk to Oki and he'll bring us down. us down to the third leg of the dungeon, and probably the hardest leg of the dungeon. Or at least, the most tricky. Butter is soon. Strength of the heart. O oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, grant these two our divine power! Uh, nothing happens. Ha <laughs> ha. My religion's real, yours is isn't. Ha ha ha. I don't know what kind of help a sun god would need, but anyway. If you missed it the first time around, you can go back up to, to get Stray Bead 99 up there if you missed it, or any other Stray Beads, because here is where things start getting final when we go through this door. It leads to a whole new difficult part of the game. We're gonna save that and the last part of the dungeon next time on Let's Play Okami HD.